not doing anything right. <laughs> when you're driving, you get sometimes too stuck in your head. I guess that's all I wanted to say. I will stop crying. <laughs> stayed at a, this rest stop between where I was in Oregon to Wyoming. It's nice. Somebody asked what helps me make a decision about where I stay or not. And oops, first I'm gonna do this. Wait, I gotta clean my windshield. So I'm gonna go. me what determines whether or not I stay at a truck stop or not and it's hard to say I mean generally it's a feeling so this one is really busy and very well lit up and for me I like that some people don't like that that it's so busy but it also has this really big area for trucks and then there's a really really big area which isn't too normal but for everyone else so here on this side there's all these areas where shouldn't do that because it's nighttime but other people can park and way even way 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 over there right so for me, it feels very safe to just pick out an area and uh, like, look, look at all of the people that are around. But this is nice because on this side, it won't have the trucks where you hear uh, their generators all night or anything like that. So I will probably turn around but I just wanted you guys to all see there's still room over here this seems a little too out of the way and in the back for me I'll go up here where I came in right so I got gas uh, and this even though it says shell there was something that said flying J on it so that's why I came down here yeah, over there where it says Flying J, where the truck stop is. So, yeah, I think I'll just come around over here and park for the night. I don't want to be right by the truck exit because then I'll hear them when they pull away. So, right over here, there's so many cars. So, I think I will just pull in right over here. Actually, maybe over here where these cars are over here. Yeah. Go back in. But yeah, usually if I can, just go around, see what's available, see what it feels like to me, and I tend to like it when there's a whole bunch of others around in the same area because 
I don't know if something happens or just all these people. So now there's a big muddy spot next to me, but I don't care because that means nobody else will probably go there. And I'll let you see here. So over here on this side, you see there's a row of cars, but nobody's parked on this side. On this side, most people would avoid this because there's mud there. So I know nobody will be on this part. I'm facing forward, so right here I can get out if I need to. But it's far enough away from here, far enough away from the trucks that'll have their generators going on, far away from the road, which is over there. So it feels like it'll be a good place. And then this is, you've seen this before, but I usually just put my little umbrella screen thing up here I am and I will just put my little umbrella thingy up and for reference it is uh, 11 o'clock at night then I put up you're not going to be able to even see this. Um, let me see. I'll turn this on. There you go. I'll put these up then over here. So I, I have these all ready to go. They're right within reach. So I can put them um, on this side. Okay. Turn off my car. Right on this window, just put these, which is my other side. And I didn't have to even leave my seat where I am over here to be able to set all of this up. So I'm good to go. And that's what I usually do when I set up. I'll turn this out off. I don't usually put that on. This is how I have my setup. Oops. Just put this chair that I have down and going to stretch out my legs and rest for a while. But this is easy. I don't have to pull out my bed necessarily because I'm going to be going, getting on the road really early tomorrow morning. So I will just probably brush my teeth and go to bed. Good night. Good morning. Hello, neighbor. It's not a competition and it shouldn't be a competition and so I guess I just want to say that because 
I have had a couple comments of people wondering why I shout others out and why I talk about other channels when I should just be talking about my channel or uh, making people watch other stuff of my own. And I get that if you're wanting to grow a channel, I'm not doing anything right. <laughs> so, but that's because the reason I'm doing this is not maybe the same reason as some people do. I am thrilled beyond uh, expectation of any of my own that my channel is actually growing at all so it is exciting to me in that sense but it's not why I'm here I'm here because I know that it's an encouragement because I know that for me when I saw others it was an encouragement and inspiration so I yeah, I guess when you're driving, you get sometimes too stuck in your head and you're having all these thoughts and emotions. And I wanted, I guess, to just get it on tape for myself to remember what I was feeling in this moment. But I also want to say it to those who are watching that um, let's be encouraging to one another and who we are and what we're doing in this life and it's so fun all the people that I meet all the things that I see I can't I don't even have enough hours in the day to watch everyone and to encourage you all so I am trying to do it all in one little uh, emotional burst here <laughs> um, while trying not to crash on the road here I probably should do this pulled over but it just keeps coming to me in waves and so I just thought I'd turn the camera on and figure it out later when I'm editing it. But um, I don't know, I just, I've, I've come from a time of uh, being with people and sharing in so many stories and, uh, and just being filled with a lot of emotion of the incredible humans on this planet. <laughs> um, so I guess I'm just, you know, processing it all now and it can become just uh, overwhelming, I guess, but in a good way. It's overwhelming in a good way. This is joy that's like just bubbling out out of my heart right now. So I just want to say a big hi to everybody and I love you and I'm so glad that I've met you and I can't wait to see you again and for all of you who are watching thank you so much for all the encouragement and positivity and uh, joy that you give me to just when you share your own uh, things in the comments to me it is we're all in this and I'm uh, so glad that I get to share it with you and you get to come along with me whenever you choose to so thank you. I guess that's all I wanted to say. And for for people who are asking, how do you do YouTube? How, like, what's the magical formula? <laughs> I don't think there is one. I think the magic of YouTube is that anybody can begin to create whenever they feel like it and put it up there. And those who want what you have to say or are looking for that will find you. I don't know that there's a formula to figure out how to get views. And if you figured that out, yay. But most of us are just doing what we're doing and loving it and hoping others will love it too. So that would be my main advice is, yeah, just do you and do it because you love it. And don't make it too much work for yourself because at the end of the day it's this is a space for being creative and capturing things in your life and maybe people will watch maybe they won't but have fun it is what it is and and that's the magic of it the magic of it is that we find each other and people find you who are going to find you and that's an amazing thing so do it because you love it
Um, I'm just taking a break on the side of the road here, uh, halfway between where I was for a wedding and Haver, Montana, and saw these fields behind me. I think they're mustard fields. I don't know. They're beautiful. They're all along this highway too here. And here comes a car. Wait. I just wanted to say this video has been all over the place and it's about what it takes to get all over the place, which is a lot of truck stops and rest stops and gas stops and windshield wiping, but it is all worth it. It's worth it for the beautiful scenery that you get to see and the places you get to go and the people that are there when you go and you get to spend time with them. It is worth it for even the driving and the beautiful scenery you get to see on the side of the road. I am so grateful that you decided to join me today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.